Almighty God, we acknowledge our dependence upon thee, and we beg thy blessings upon us, our parents, our teachers, and our country. From the studios of the Ram Cave, in the home of the Camellias, I'm Joe Terosian, and this is the Burbank Faith Virtuals. Good morning for October the 17th, 2024. Uh, this is episode number 323 of A Ministry Without Parole. As always, we are praying for our young people, and today we're going to be in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 through 39. This is the latest I have gone on since coming back from vacation in August, and uh, I apologize for that, but uh, stuff came up. And then sometimes we have some connection issues in the morning. I don't know what it is, but it is what it is. Uh, wonderful overcast day. Felt very autumn here, and I hope it feels like that for the next six months with some rain, dusting of snow. I want it cold. I want it wet. I want it gloomy. Uh, that's the holiday season for me. Okay, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 through 39. Mr. Burns, loyal Burbank Faith Virtual follower, loves the book of Hebrews, so do we, uh, and here we go. Remember, this is not Paul writing. No one knows who the author of uh, Hebrews is, uh, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. It's a great debate to get into. All right, uh, let's get cracking here. Again, I can't see you all the time when you're on, so leave a comment, leave a like, and say hey, and uh, we'll go from there. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 through 39, so... Do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that you may have done the will of God. You will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. And if he shrinks back, I will not be pleased with him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed but of those who believe and are saved. Amen? Amen. Real simple. And it's something each generation since World War II has become less and less trained at. It's toughness. There is a decided lack of ability to grind in our culture, in the North American culture. Grind through difficulty. Grind through insult. Grind through lack of affirmation. Grind through opposition. And here, the writer in Hebrews is writing to the early Jewish Christians, and he says, stay faithful to Christ. Keep your confidence in him. The current day, times, years might be full of madness, but hang tough. God is faithful. Grind. Don't have a psychotic meltdown when a politician or a political party fails you for the umpteenth time. When someone takes a shot at you on social media, when someone just says no to you, or doesn't give you an ongoing, timely attaboy while in the midst of some endeavor. endeavor. Instead, you grind on because God is faithful. The middle of the passage reads, my righteous or righteous one will live by faith. But what's omitted here is that the affirmations of the world, we do not live by the affirmations of the world. And if God's person shrinks back, God will not please. So we're not necessarily pleasing God with our results, great or small. We are pleasing God by grinding on in him, by remaining faithful in him. And here's the killer verse. I love this part. I, I found myself quoting this very, very often recently. Um, uh, but we are not among those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. Meaning there are those who shrink back who look at the word of God, deny the truth it speaks, and are destroyed by this world. Usually there are very these are very influential, well-educated people in authority with a denominational structure. But we are not among those. We are among those who believe and are saved. Amen? Amen. And what I mean by that is that the higher we climb up the ladder in some organizations, especially denominational, we kind of lose touch with what's truth in the scripture because we got to appease the sheep. And that's generally what I mean by that. Uh, confidence is something we need to keep. We all grind on, you know, as the Beatles sing, like the sun, the moon, and the stars, right? Or was that John Lennon? We all grind on. I think that's John Lennon. Uh, this is what we want for our young people to know. We want them to be able to grind on in their faith through all adversity. And this is what we want them to experience. This is the confidence we want them to have when they come face to face with the spiritual hostility of this world to grind on. And this is why we pray for our young people, pray for our church, pray for our families. This is why we do these things so we can grind on in the face of adversity in this world because in this world, 
we will have trouble. Amen? Amen. Almighty God, we acknowledge, we acknowledge our dependence upon thee, and we beg thy blessings upon us, our parents, our teachers, and our country. Amen? Amen. All right. Let's see here. Let's get to this. Uh, Bill Aljaji, continue to keep him in prayer. We're going to keep Diane Rush on this list through the end of the week. Kim Dedini, dealing with brain tumor, cancer. George Eastis, Rafi, our neighborhood boy. Our great friend, Tim Burns, uh, and all that is going on with him. He's battling uh, health stuff again. You know, He's in a long battle with cancer, and uh, he's coming to some crossroads here about choices. So let's keep Tim in prayer. Um, and then uh, Alex, young boy, got an update on him. He made his first round of chemo two years old, leg cancer, and uh, they're holding off the next round, but it is coming, but everything seems to be trending there. Also, news I shared yesterday that was shared on social media uh, was our my friend, Syl Stoker. Uh, she lives uh, in TC, went to high school with her. Uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and so she's beginning her treatments. So if you keep Syl Stoker in prayer, that would be awesome, as well as her family, Ken and, and everyone else, the kids and the grandkids and everything. So. Uh, let's pray, and then let's get you guys out of here. Lord, we do thank you again for loving us, God. We thank you for the hope that we find in you, the truth we find in you, the peace we find in you. But Lord, let us keep finding you. Let us keep pressing on in you. Let us not drift away. Let us keep grinding forward in you in the face of all adversity, in the face of hostility, in the face of, uh, <clears throat> of uh, derision, uh, the lack of uh, attaboys. Lord, let's just keep grinding. Help us to keep grinding in you. And we pray that for our young people. <clears throat> has the culture fails and it speaks of doom and gloom and just live for today. And in many ways, Lord, the North American church, we have failed as well in giving our young people hope, Lord. Let our young people find their hope in you. Uh, not the influential, not the powerful, not the well-educated higher-ups in denominational structure, but let them find their hope in you. And uh, Lord, let them develop a spirit of uh, discernment to spot the fraudulence of this world and to find in you the peace, the joy, the hope that is eternal in you. Lord, we pray for them as they hit their campuses today, that you go ahead of them, Lord, uh, that you do battle there. Lord, that you silence the voices that parrot evil from the other realms, Lord, that you shame them, that you bring them to a circumstance where those who parrot those voices humble themselves before you. And those who are already there that know you, Lord, give them courage, Lord, to put you as the priority and your truth as the priority especially pertaining to our young people. Lord, we pray for those on our list. Lord, we keep praying for Bill Alajaji, Diane Rush, uh, Kim Dedini, uh, George Eastis, Rafi, our neighborhood boy, Tim Burns, the great Tim Burns, Alex, and of course, Syl Stoker. Lord, uh, we just ask your blessings upon them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, look at that, eight minutes. A little bit after nine. I know I was late. Sorry about that, guys. Hope everything goes well today. Have a great day. Be sure to hit like. Be sure to hit share. Uh, algorithm issues again. I'm trying some new techniques. Don't seem to be working too well, but we'll just keep grinding, right? All right. God bless. Take care. We will see you soon.